How to pick a 3PL, third party logistics company. That's the topic for this week. So this week we're talking about how to pick a third party logistics company. Um, look, we could spend hours talking about this. Uh, and in fact, I'll put links to a few more resources down below. Uh, but this week, I'd just like to highlight six key things to think about when you're picking a third party logistics company. And uh, for the purposes of this video, let's talk about warehousing. Um, similar thing would, uh, would apply to freight or any other sort of logistics outsourcing. Okay, so what do I think are some of the key things to look at? We'll run through the six. First of all, um, I, I have seen it um, in the past, not so much these days, where companies looking for an outsourcing partner, let's say for warehousing, kind of open up to a whole industry and they, they end up trying to evaluate loads and loads of companies. Um, that's not ideal. Um, so whatever process you're going through, I always suggest that you, you target fairly narrow, narrowly um, the sort of companies that you're looking for. You know, you don't need a cast of thousands, you probably need six or eight uh, to be able to then narrow down to a short list uh, and then sort of a final list, final list of two or three to pick from. So what sort of things are we going to be looking for? Number one, I reckon, is industry fit. Uh, there is no point if you're a steel company um, in inviting bids from companies who just look after FMCG, groceries, that type of thing. So you always want to try and find a company that is has experience in your industry and a good track record in your industry. Uh, it's okay, you know, to try a couple of outsiders now and again, but your, your main focus needs to be on companies who understand your industry. So a good industry fit is number one. Uh, number two, uh, when you're actually going through the process of having solutions put together and bids put into your company, um, you certainly want to be looking at the solution fit. So we're really going through sort of six aspects here of evaluation. So how does their solution fit your requirement? Uh, is it realistic? Is it likely to work? Has it got the right levels of flexibility? Is it logical? Um, or is it a little bit wacky? There is nothing wrong with innovation, of course, but you want to make sure that you're talking to companies who firstly really understand your requirement and are able to develop a really good solution to match your needs. Number three, and this is a biggie, IT. Uh, when you are implementing new warehousing contracts, IT can be one of the biggest headaches. Uh, trying to integrate your systems to theirs, uh, maybe the third party logistics company is providing the WMS, the warehouse management system, so there's lots of integration required then into your customer service systems, your ERP and so on. Uh, so IT can be one of the biggest headaches in terms of impl implementing a new 3PL contract. So have a look at that during the sort of tendering phase and evaluation phase. Are, are the IT solutions that they're proposing, are they, again, logical? Are they, do they suit your business needs? Have they integrated to your types of systems before? Have they got case studies there showing that they can do it? Do you have faith in their IT people to be able to work with yours? So IT, IT is a biggie. Don't, uh, don't fall foul of that one. Number four, and these are in no particular order, uh, and, and no particular sort of priority or weighting, but number four would be costs and resources. Um, so whenever I'm evaluating uh, tenders for some of our consulting clients, I always wanna look beneath the pricing of the actual contract. I wanna look at the resources that are being used. I, I wanna look at the rates, if you like, the labor rates and so on, um, how much they're paying for forklift rentals, you know, all these sorts of things to look at and see, is the resourcing right for the contract and are the costs appropriate for the contract? So we're looking at the, the number of resources, the type of resources, and the sorts of costs that they're attributing to those resources. That's assuming, of course, that they've given enough visibility of all of that costing. They don't always do that. But I think you should be asking for that during the evaluation process. Uh, and then next comes the pricing. So once we understand the resources and the costs associated with them performing the contract for us, then we can have a look at the pricing or the rate structure. How do they propose that we pay for this service? Uh, what are the fixed and variable components? Um, if there are activity 
sort of prices, costs. Uh, is that reasonable? You know, it might be cost per pallet in, per pallet out, per order picked, uh, having a look at all of that. So all of that is really just a way of translating the cost plus their margin into a pricing mechanism for you, the client. So again, you need to have a look at that and make sure all of that is pretty logical. And also test that sanity check it to make sure, you know, if your volumes drop or go up, uh, are you going to be disadvantaged at all with that sort of pricing mechanism? Uh, and then number six, we, we could have dozens here, but I've just picked six. Number six, I think it's probably one of the most important, um, and that is the cultural fit with your business. Ideally, you're going to be working with this company for a very long time. You, you don't want to be changing third-party logistics companies, you know, every few years, unless it's you know, something's gone bad, why would you change? You know, if it's working well, you want a good, long relationship with, with a company that you can trust, a company that you work well with, and a lot of that, of course, falls back onto the culture. So you want to make sure that you have a third-party logistics company that's a good cultural fit for your company. That, you know, do you like the people that you're going to be working with on a day-to-day -day basis? There's no point in getting into a relationship with people that you're going to find it hard to work with. Okay, so there we go. Just six quick tips on evaluating third-party logistics companies. What were they? Make sure you've got good industry fit, the solution fit, Make sure there's no IT issues. Uh, make sure you've got good visibility on the resources and the costs and all of that's logical. The pricing mechanism that's going to apply to the contract. And last of all, the cultural fit. So what are your thoughts? What other things would you evaluate a third-party logistics company on? Uh, now, I mentioned right at the beginning that there's loads of other resources here on this channel, on our blogs and so on about outsourcing. So I'll put some links down below, but I just remembered actually that we've got a recorded webinar on this. So it's a one-hour one webinar across this whole um, topic. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to that webinar down below as well, and you can just jump on and have a look at that. So thanks for watching and see you next week. Love to read your comments as they come in. Bye for now.